region in Africa. She's in America. And I'm hot as fire, y'all. <laughs> Special, special show for you today. It's called Getting Back in the Game Disabled Style. My man right here, he's blind, but he said it looks good outside. He feels good. He even asked if we're going to do his makeup and all that good stuff. Right now, we're playing rugby. to have manual stimulation. See, when you, you put it, you made it so it shoots. Oh, so you're blind with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the blind yeah. is leading the blind. And you thinking outside the box. That's what the Mayweather Live Show is. The Mayweather Live Show should show you parts of life you think about, but you don't see, or you think about, but you don't have an understanding. Woo! Today's show is about how to train yourself at home and just get some good exercise in. Right now, I'm in New Orleans, and everybody knows in New Orleans, it's all about voodoo. Sometimes they play with your hair, and they call it psychic, whatever. But in my possession, I don't think I'm a psychic. Because I'm involved with more spiritual, like spiritual advice, I'm a monk. Now, this is an actual crack house. I'm in Houston, Texas, so you, you actually use crack. Yeah, I actually do. So how, what got you on it? You know I, mean? when else, I was told that someone else that drove the same car that we was in had jacked somebody for some drugs. Oh, so somebody had stole some drugs right, from somebody. Yeah, so I look at him, I got a pocket full of money. I say, damn, y'all look like y'all having a good time. So I say, well, man, give me some of that shit. Say, no, nah, this ain't for you, Teddy, so, When I looked to the right and I seen the guy with the Tick 9 pointing it out at me, I ducked to grab my pistol, and that's the, and that's the reason why all the bullets went in my back and it didn't actually blow my head off. So this is how you can see how stuff's changing, how people, right. just because just you're hood, just because you're in the black, just because you used to sell, just because you do all these different things, you can have success and change your life. We're going to go cook in the kitchen. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I, can't, I really can't see anything. Ever wonder what the life of the blind was like? You're watching it right now. It's not, it's not a steady uh, thing. I get a, like a vision. This is a window. How big is this room? We are not promoting sex. We're this is educational show. We just showing you the behind the scenes of what happens, what people really do. Come on, come on. It's one hundred and ninety dollars an hour, and it's gonna be forty-five to an hour until she gets here. All right, she's about to come in right now. She's coming in. They went downstairs to get her. There's a bodyguard out front. It's going down right now. Boom, right here. Yep. So. And she's coming right here, connecting right here. We heard the show. This ain't no boss, man. This is the show, man. I'm really going to get knocked out, man. It's real, we ain't playing. We're gonna, we're gonna let you try it without a back with a backup firefighter and see what it feels like to do with the firefighters on. So uh, basically the backup, they come, they make sure I don't fall back and they exactly. cut the hose. And they help you stabilize that hose line. Right. When putting out a fire, what's most important, you know, to, to aim a certain place, be a certain distance, what's the most important? Right. We're going to have it like it's an actual collapse. So we'll have rock, stone on top of it, as well as pallets and a lot of other wood objects. So are you going to tell the firefighters where? No, we don't tell them. They have to actually come in to search for the victim. Today we're in Houston, Texas to speak with Mr. Chen about the different things that he does. Mr. Chen is a world-renowned psychic. Now what makes him so special is that people say he's actually able to really tell them about their present, future, and things that they've already been through in life. Right, this, is, this is Master Chen. Mm -hmm. and you say you, you're not a psychic because a lot of people want to throw you in as if you're some type of psychic. You know? Do you know a psychic? 
you see thing, you feel thing, and then you know thing. You don't do a lot of talking. I mean, you go in there and you sit down, and he talks to you first. He does mention names and stuff a lot. Like he, he mentioned a name to you. Mm hmm Which name did he mention? Oh, you want me to tell you? Yeah, I'm curious. Oh. Okay. I mean, I was definitely there was no doubt or in my mind whatsoever when I when when he started talking. Mm -hmm. he, but I think everybody is psychic. If you meditation, if you keep your mental good quality, if you know like. You look deep inside of you, you can feel the other. You can read the other. Because from time to time I get the feeling it overcomes my body. Man, I tell you what, that was probably uh, one of the most... Uh, I, I didn't know how I was going to feel about it. Because Truth about HIV and AIDS in America. I'm your host, Prashad Mayweather. I'm over here at Big Ben Cares, where we, we really going to get it in and teach you a lot today. And kind of pull it down. And then it hurts, but I just... See, and that, that's, that's how I do it. And you're wrong from the very beginning. If you don't know, we're gonna teach you something. Come on in. Wanna open that one and see what it looks like? Yep. Let me see. Ridges. I'll blow you it blow in, okay. It in. Wanna... This is for camera's sake only, okay? I'm gonna blow in this so you can see the ridges. See, okay, we could act like this is uh -huh. the actual vagina. Uh -huh. Or you know what, we could do that. Uh, wow. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah. That's we, real we, would in, we would insert it in, and you would push the ring, and you wanna make I ain't got that all over me. <laughs> <laughs> she said what I would lick. You would lick the outside. Now they're already flavored, but if you want to add some of the other flavored ones in, but see when you move them about, you see how soft that is and how that just slides about. Okay. Oh, it's about the things you may or may not find in the Bible. With me, I have Pastor Michaels. I've had people pray over me, mm -hmm. speaking in tongues. Right. Okay. So today we're going to talk about some controversial topics, yes. but some real stuff. Yes. You, you, you're a real person, right? Yeah, I am. You, a real you're going to keep it all the way live. We're going to keep it right. If you don't believe the Bible is real, you don't believe your mom's real or your family tree is real, because now what you're saying is history doesn't mean anything. That blue cord that connects you with heaven, that when you speak in tongues, you can download the will of God in a mystery. You click open, boom, the program unlocks, and all of a sudden you find the will of God for your life. Today we have a very controversial, touchy topic. It's all about rape. My mother's boyfriend thought, you know, she's built like a grown-up, whatever. Yeah, she acts like she's mentally ready. So he was pretty much raping me for I had to be about five or six. And then my, uh, I had a female cousin. And she forced me to give her oral. Apparently I was taken back to one of the guys place and I had five football players rape me. I really can't say. I kind of regret. <laughs> and basically um, with the topic, what is rape? Rape is really any unwanted sexual contact. Is voodoo real? Is voodoo fake? What is the deal with voodoo? It matters what we call gri gri. What is the significance in voodoo of the voodoo doll? Well, the significance of it is it's not, it bears no relation to what you see in the television movies. Now the word zombie means spirit. It means the same thing as yag, but it comes from the Congo. What why, what made you gay? Have you were you born gay? Well, nothing like really made me gay. I had really realized it when I was um, at a really young age. So first off, your your voice is very feminine. Did you? I know they have like pills and stuff nowadays. Do you <laughs> do you ever dress up like a, a guy at all? No. It doesn't hurt me. I feel like a celebrity should talk about me behind my back. Shoot. And then that's all I got to say. That sounds so gay. <laughs> hey, I really hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, Mr. Mayweather Live Show, and our goal with the show is to show people different parts of life that they generally don't see, but they talk about or they don't know about, but we want to inform you about it. Hey, thanks for tuning to the Mayweather Live Show. I love you for loving me and supporting my show.